Hey guys, I'm standing here by the Felton Covered Bridge, which was built between 1892 to 1893. It was the only entrance to the town for 45 years. Okay, let's go and walk around this historic bridge. Felton's first bridge was not covered. The original one was built in 1878 and it took the place of the ford across the San Lorenzo River, a dangerous crossing in winter. The rain of 1890 dropped over 123 inches of water on Boulder Creek, destroying the bridge. The Board of Supervisors condemned the old Pine Bridge and sought bids for the construction of a replacement. W.S. Rogers, who represented the San Lorenzo Valley, was approached by David M. Locke of Scotts Valley, a native of Vermont, who convinced him that the cover would extend the life of the bridge. And it did. Designed by Pratt Warren, it was finished in October 1892 by the contractors Cotton Brothers. The Santa Cruz Surf described it as a $4,000 and over bridge, resting like an eagle on tip of wings upon two mighty concrete pillars. The famous San Lorenzo rushing waters roll beneath it. A bridge is a good introduction to the town. The bridge became the tallest covered bridge in the United States. At 80 feet long, 35 feet tall, and employing a brown truss structural system. A brown truss bridge uses diagonal cross compression members connect to horizontal top and bottom stringers. The bridge was originally completely covered. But during the flood of 1907, the north wall was damaged by a runaway cabin, washed down the river, and a section of the roof had to be replaced. The floor remained intact. The Redwood Bridge slowly yielded to the automobile age. During the 1920s, the boards on the north wall were removed to give drivers a view of oncoming traffic. Traffic increased after the railroad to Boulder Creek was torn up in 1934. Every time a heavily loaded truck crosses the covered bridge, it gets spooky. In September 1937, the Board of Supervisors voted to build a new concrete bridge. W.S. Rogers, fearing that the obsolete structure would be demolished, argued persuasively for its preservation. Fortunately, SLV supervisor George Lay, a native of Felton, convinced his colleagues to reroute the highway along a straightener path and leave the old span in place. A park has been established around the bridge, now called the Covered Bridge Park. Although the historic structure was saved, it suffered from neglect, gaps showing on the roof. The Christmas flood of 1955 tore gaps from its underside. In 1960, the Felton Volunteer Fire Department came to the rescue, offering an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast to the public on a price of $1. Held on the bridge, the event raised enough to begin repairs on the floor. The encouraging result convinced the firemen to make the mill an annual affair. The proceeds from subsequent years were invested in roof repairs using authentic split redwood shingles and restoration of the side walls. In 1969, it was placed on the California State Historical Places and National Register of Historic Places in 1973. The Felton Fire Department carried on the breakfast tradition for nearly 20 years. Finally, in 1981, at the insistence of the SLV supervisor Kuchiriara, the county accepted responsibility for repairs. The 
flood of January 1982 brought increased urgency to the work when a giant floating redwood tree hit the bridge broadside, nearly destroying its floor and foundation. Carpenters undertook the reconstruction job with the help of federal emergency funds. The same tree was milled and used to repair the damage it had done. Another interesting story is written by Aubrey Graves, a writer and ghost hunter who believes that the bridge is haunted by at least one spirit, the ghost of a woman who was killed on the bridge when she was accused of being a witch. Today, the bridge is very impressive and worth a quick look and stroll across. The park additionally has a nice playground area as well as picnic tables, a valuable court, and a decent grass area. But by far, the main reason to visit the park is absolutely the historic Felton Covered Bridge. Guys, we walked across the bridge, and I hope you enjoy this or your mind. Till next time. Bye. So, guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell! Hit the bell! Hit the bell! Hit the bell! Come on, guys! Hit the bell for notifications. And don't forget to share. And like!